for too long gone it don't matter hey guys hope you're doing well welcome back to my channel it's miss me henry back again with a new video if you're new here karibu sana and please consider subscribing if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support i really appreciate you and remember you are always my best friend guys today i'm back with another breakfast recipe and guys i realized as i said in my previous video that most of the loving these breakfast recipes and i decided i'll be doing more of these recipe ideas but still i'll go back to my shopping haul my training videos and everything that we do in this channel we are still going back to it but for now let's enjoy the recipes because this is what makes you happy this is what you are loving for now and guys i really appreciate you we are i think 2100 of us in this channel i really appreciate you guys i really appreciate your support i don't take this for granted i don't take you subscribing to my channel and becoming so henry's family for granted guys i totally really appreciate and i love you people keep supporting your girl and guys the reason why i'm doing this video at now is because i just realized i didn't have any intro for this video and i decided let me do the intro and say hi to you guys and guys without further ado let's go into the video i'm brushing away to you the way to view of my shoulder yeah. with my cigarette. When I, I started by preparing my ingredient the first ingredient was the spring onions by now you know i love spring onions in my breakfast then the second ingredient was hot dog. I love using the hot dog because it's gluten free. So I'll use two hot dogs and then cut them into small pieces. You can use more hot dog as you wish in case you are making a breakfast for many people but for me i'm just making the breakfast for two people so uh, two hot dogs are enough you can also use a sausage if you love sausages i mean tonight to add smoky the smokies you can use them that aside then the next ingredient will be green peas I had frozen them that's why they have water this other thing is the sweet corn I'm not going to use all of it and then I'll need eggs and the other thing is the capsicum I use the green capsicum thing that i'll need is bread this time i used toasted butter bread which is circle in shape so i'll heat my pan and then put enough oil and allow it to heat as well ensure that you use minimal heat and then i'll put all the ingredients in the oil and allow it cook for some few minutes like five minutes as i had mentioned i'm not going to use all the sweet corn make sure they mix well so that they can absorb the Taste the tastes of each other, if that's the right word. I also decided that I could have added a red capsicum. 
so here i was preparing a red capsicum so that i could add it so that the taste could be super sweet also mix that well and then don't forget to add salt if you forget to add salt the the breakfast will be tasteless you can add any spice that you want but don't forget to add salt by now it's ready so i'm going to put it aside Then I'll prepare my eggs. I'll use three eggs. The number of eggs depends with the number of people that you are making the breakfast for. So you can use more also. Beat the egg so that it can mix well. You can use a fork or you can use a whisk. Whichever you are comfortable. Then add the egg to the vegetable mixture mix that well and this is how the mixture looks it has mixed so well this is how it looks after you mix with the eggs then i'll need my bread so for this bread, I'm going to, to remove the center part and then I'll use the round outer part, like so. You can use the now you can first remove the center part to, of the number of bread that you wanna use, and still you can be removing one as you cook. But to fasten and make the work easier, you first remove the center part to all the slices that you want you wanna use, and then cook them all at the same time that makes it easy and fast so I had four slices then don't dispose the center part that you remove because you are going to need it as you will see in the video so using the same pan preheat it again and then put some oil just enough oil and then place one bread like so and then put the vegetables at the center like so don't put a lot just put enough and then flatten it using the cooking spoon then allow it some few seconds and then remember still you are using a low heat once the first side is cooked you place some cheese and then the center part that you had removed and then turn your bread like so. Allow the other side to cook for some few minutes like so. Keep regulating your heat because you can see I'm messing up a bit. Keep regulating your heat. It should be a low heat. Continue with the same process. This is the second bread. Actually, this recipe is very easy. You can see that has cooked well because I minimized the heat. This recipe is very easy and very fast. And it gives you a yummy, sweet, healthy breakfast. Keep adding enough oil to every bread that you place in the pan.
I just take this chance to remind you to subscribe. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up, that's a like, so that it can support my channel and also help me create my community and allow the video to reach to many people so that we can learn together how to make great, healthy, yummy breakfast. And guys, thank you so much for, for your support. I really appreciate it. I love you people. Keep it here. Keep it locked. Keep it locked here. This was the crust part of the bread. So the other side will be a bit will be a bit big. So it won't be flat, you see. It's not flat because it was the crust part of the bread, but as it cook, it will condense and be flat. So you don't have a reason to throw away your crust. For me I don't love crust but with this I'll I'll eat the crust comfortably. So after that I did prepare my African tea. I usually boil milk and water together and then I'll add uh, tea leaves. And then allow it cook and boil together breakfast is ready this is how the bread looks so yummy so healthy guys they look like a passion fruit at the center right yeah, so yummy. So I don't know. So yummy. They are so yummy. They are so yummy, guys. Just try this recipe and let me know how it tastes because it tastes more than you can see with your eyes. This is how it looks in the inside when you cut it. So guys, I'm going to serve my breakfast, my African tea with my my yummy bread. It's bread, but guys, it's so yummy. It's so yummy. Presentation ni muhimu. Sindio. So guys, look at that. Look at this bread. Look at it. So yummy. So yummy. Who doesn't want this bread? I know you want it. Just try this recipe and thank me later because it's yummy. It makes you full for the whole day. Actually, this is the best breakfast for you when you're working. So if you don't want to have lunch, you can use this breakfast for your breakfast and lunch. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up. That's a like. And also don't forget to turn on your notification bell. It's free. All these are free so that you can be notified anytime that I upload any recipe, any video. And guys, this supports my channel. So guys... Until the next video, adios and remember to take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.